So we're back on the banks, we're out doing a bit more park fishing. Today you've joined me on a carp syndicate lake doing some pike fishing, believe it or not. And it's a session I've had planned for quite some time. I'm actually doing a social with a good friend of mine. And yeah, we've come here for a 48 hour session, to see if we can catch some pike. The rivers and the drains at the moment are completely unfishable. The river's about to burst its banks. So yeah, it's come at the right time, to be honest. Now we turned up probably half past six. I've had a good look around the lake and you've got depths, they, they vary, they're, they're pretty much up and down. You've got 30 foot at the bottom end of the lake and then it chamfers off, you know, you've got six Six foot, 12 foot, 15 foot, it goes up and down everywhere. The stock of the actual lake for pike, there's a, apparently they've said that there's a good head of mid doubles and the biggest is 23 pounds. So not massive, but big enough for a nice social session. And I'm hoping, and I can't see why not, that we get amongst some of these pike. Now conditions wise, today it's gonna to be absolutely peeing it down. It's gonna be heavy winds, gusty rain. And tomorrow I think it's light drizzle and fairly light winds. So it's gonna be up and down for filming. But I'm gonna try and document as much as I can. But I've set everything up, Biv is all set up, rods are all prepped. So now it's just a case of getting some rigs on, getting them cast out and see if we can get any pike in the bag. Yeah, fish on, here we go. Yeah, fish on. Don't feel an overly big fish by the... No, it's only a small one. Only a babber. Well, very welcome either. That's the first park of this. Oh, mate. Only just. We've got you. Whew. Right, so first fish of the session. We've been here for probably three and a half hours, something like that. And that is the first one, only a babber, but they can only get bigger. And as I was saying before, I don't think this lake's overly stopped. There probably might be a few small ones in here. And it wouldn't surprise me if this fish was the one that I nearly caught on the lure rod probably two hours ago. It was just getting near the lure and left it. And it looked about this size to be honest, really small. But we've got one in the bag, that's the main thing. So I'm gonna get this little fella back, get that rig baited out. This is in probably 14 foot of water. So fairly deep for this time of year, but they're coming through, that's the main thing. So what I'll do, I'll get this beautiful little fella back and then we'll uh, we'll hopefully get some more in the bag. But yeah, happy days. Right, mate, back you go. That's the one. Lovely, and it, it really does look like the same size as the one that was following the lure earlier on. But yeah, one under his belt, that right hand side of the swim. So I'll get a fresh rig on there. Well, actually the rig looked okay. I might just get a fresh bait on there, get it cast out. But at the moment, very quiet along these reed lines, which is surprising. And the middle rod as well, absolutely nothing there. So, all right, we'll get this back out there again. Like I say, this right hand side of the swim was where we had that fish. I think they're roaming along this margin possibly. After seeing that small pike when we was lure fishing earlier on. So we'll get this out there. Yeah, that's bang on. It is fairly deep there, to be honest. You're looking at probably 15, 16 foot by the feel of the drop. But we've got one in the bag. That's the main thing. So it's always nice to get one under your belt when you've only been here on a venue for a couple of hours. So Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I know it's not a massive fish, but sometimes you've just got to be grateful, especially when the conditions are as they are. So we are good to go. Lovely. So just be nice for this rain to stop. But we're catching, that's the main thing. So I think it's time to get the kettle on. I'll do a recast on the left hand rod in about half an hour. And we'll go from there. So the rain's calmed down a little bit. I mean, it's still spitting a bit, so I think it's time for a recast and check on the baits as well, so. Yeah, 
that's bang on that's beautiful nice and clear I'm gonna go a little bit further out this time still on the edge of the reed line but most of the time you're just hoping that some fish are going to come through the swim and later on I might actually tonight before it gets dark I might chop the heads off the fish a bit of attraction in the water and just keep chopping and changing just keep trying different things and normally it does a business so we're coming up to about half past 12 sort of midday and so far I've had one Craig has had one about five pounds and then he lost one probably about an hour ago and in, we're guessing it's a smaller fish just coming in picking the baits up because when he hit into it there's absolutely nothing there but there is a few eels in this lake as well so there is every chance that they're going to be biting away at the baits now the opposite side of the lake is around 30 foot deep so i can't see the fish being in depths of water that deep you know we're probably four and a half maybe five weeks away from spawning they're going to be going into sort of not shallow water but much much shallower water than 30 foot that's for sure so i'm thinking this half of the lake that we're on We've got every chance of getting a bite now if craig catches anything bigger we'll pop round and we'll uh, we'll get the camera gear and have a look at it but for the moment if it's just small fish i'm not not too fussed to be honest but we are both you know we're messaging each of them we're just hoping that this big girl comes through the swim and we can get amongst not only her but some of the other pike in the in the venue as well it's just a case of working out the venue where the fish are and we've spoken to an angler not too long ago and he was giving us a good insight of what small fish were in here because obviously if there's a few pike you know they need a good diet to survive and there's quite a few small fish in here there's perch up to about three pounds there's eels there's obviously carp in here which we're not too fussed about but there is some nice fish in here carp wise and you know if i was a member on here i'd be happy to fish for them real old lovely looking english fish so yeah at the moment it's just a case of sitting under a bivy just waiting for this rain to calm down and just cross my fingers that we can get some pike in the bag so well all i can say is it is absolutely peeing it down we've got a bit of a storm at the moment and i've forgotten the front of my brolly so i'm literally having to use me wasteling to stop the rain coming in the bivy but yeah it is yeah it's blowing a gale big well <laughs> as you can see it's just an absolute mess out there at the moment the winds turned to a northwesterly so it's blowing right into here this morning it was blowing down the bottom end of the lake but yeah it is not the best fishing weather if i'm honest for pike anyway so yeah i don't really know what to say to be honest hopefully it's going to calm down later but at the moment yeah it's just absolutely hammering down Well, good morning and it is about eight o'clock yesterday was it was a complete washout to be honest the evening time was fairly quiet although about half past one ish i had to take on the left hand rod and i must have been playing the fish for probably two seconds and the hook came out and the fish just came straight to the top of the surface and came straight towards me in the margins and looking at it, it was a fairly long fish but it was a very thin fish so i'm gonna guess it for probably 12 to 13 pounds not a massive one but it would have been nice to catch that but unfortunately yeah absolutely nothing so it's cooled down quite a bit at the moment it's about zero degrees and today's going to be a cold day fairly windy and tonight's going to be about minus two so it's going to be fairly testing conditions if i'm honest but you know there's every chance of another fish if we've had a small one lost one around half past one sort of a low double and then craig had one yesterday he lost one straight away i can tell that these pike have been really picky with the baits so i mean i only just managed to hook that one yesterday that little small one we had so it is going to be testing times and it's all to do with the conditions personally looking at the lake i don't think it gets hammered for pike you know you don't get lots of pike anglers on it from what i can see so i'm thinking it's the conditions of the actual venue and obviously the weather conditions so i'm thinking if we do get any more fish it's going to be a case of i might let it go just a little bit longer to try and get better or cold 
and go from there. But at the moment, yeah, it's it's very, very cold. I've had to change and put the old winter coat on and the, the winter hat on because, yeah, it's going to be very testing condi conditions. Oh, just had a knock on one of the rods. Oh. Oh no, no fish on. I thought it might drop the bait then, to be fair. These fish are very lethargic at the moment. Oh, it doesn't feel a big fish. No, only a small one, but as you can see, they're hardly fighting. It's all to do with the weather. It's always to do with the weather. This actually looks like the pike from last night, to be honest, it might be. That might be the fish from last night. I mean, they're not giving out hardly any fight at all, which tells me that these conditions are greatly affecting it. Come on, mate. Now, these rushes are an absolute pain, to be honest, they really are. They really should clean these pegs out a bit better. Right, come on, mate, let's be having you. That's the one. That's the one. Whew. Yeah, these. I might have to have a bit of a clear out on these later. It's making life a little bit difficult for netting the fish, to be honest. But this looks exactly like the fish we lost last night. I'm 99% convinced that this is the fish we lost. So we'll get it rested for 10 minutes and then we'll have a look at her. Yeah, it's a lovely looking pike. So that is, as you can tell, just, just by looking at the head of the fish compared to the actual length of the body, you can tell that she's either a very old fish or she's just not been feeding due to the conditions. And yeah, but still, either way, a nice fish and that's the second one of the session now. So I'm 99% convinced that this is the fish that we lost probably around half past one in the morning. So what I'll do, I'll get her back get that right hand rod baited up again it seems that right hand margin is a bit of a hot spot well when I say hot spot a patrol route for these pike to go through and yeah I'm over the moon second one of the social so hopefully we can get some more we're here till probably tomorrow morning around similar time sort of eight nine o'clock so hopefully we can get a few more in the bag I mean that's a fairly long part but as you can tell the such a thin body they've not hardly been feeding at all just makes you wonder sometimes as you can see, there's leeches all over this this wasteland where she's been just held up with the conditions. She's beautiful. Go on, darling. So we're coming up to about 10 o'clock. It's been a few hours now since the, we had that fish earlier on. Craig's swim has been really quiet. He had five pounder yesterday. He had a drop take off a bait. It could have been an eel or a small fish. So what Craig's decided to do is wrap up and he's moving to the deeper area. There was a carp angler there for the past couple of days. He's leaving. Craig's gonna move there and give it a bash because you never know. If the swim's quite where Craig is, he just wants to try his luck and see what happens. And it'd be nice to see if Craig can get something. It'd be nice if he catches the biggest pike in the lake or, you know, one of the 20s in here, because apparently there's a couple of them. But only time will tell. So, yeah, he's just wrapping away now. He's going to move to where the carp angler is and spend the rest of the 24 hours there. Fingers crossed that he catches something nice. And I'm just going to sort of cross my fingers that, well, hope that some fish come through here. Now, yesterday I had the Leroy out. I had it on for about 15 minutes, just having a little play around and we had a small pike following it, didn't do anything. Tried about four or five different lures, did nothing. Then we ended up catching it on the right hand rod on the dead bait. Now last night, we lost a fish off one. We caught that on a dead bait this morning on a completely different area, marginal line. So it seems that these fish have been really picky at the moment and it's all about the weather. Every time I come fishing and I always go on about it, when it, you get a sort of like fluctuation in weather, whether it's sunny, whether it's cold, whether it's storms, whether it's rain, the fishing, it can just put a stump to it sometimes and make life difficult. But what I'm thinking now is that this warmer weather, because it's going to be mild today, about 10 degrees, 9, 10 degrees, I'm thinking it's going to bring some of the fish in the shallows. And this is pretty much the shallow area of the lake. And then the pike are going to follow, hopefully. If they are in the deeper water, they might even be where I am now. They're just not up for it. 
and you'll find that sometimes and that's why I get the lure rod out and just try my luck to see what's knocking around because sometimes the pike will slowly move but at the moment yeah I'm just going to stay put now so I think it's time to get the kettle on Mecca Brew Craig's nearly packed away now we're moving to his other swim and then hopefully he'll pop around later for a chat and whatnot and then we'll basically go from there I mean, Craig has just messaged me. He's got a good feeling that he might be amongst some fish compared to yesterday. But I'm, I'm still a bit 50-50. I don't, I don't know if we're going to catch all blank or not. To be honest. Oh, I think Craig is. Is he into a fish? Yep, yep, he's into a fish. Oh yeah, he's in. What is the odds of that? <laughs> And it just shows you the move paid off. Craig was fishing here. He's moved to this section there and he's... I don't know if it's a big fish or not by the look of it. So the only downside about when you're doing a social, if you make yourself halfway around the lake, you've literally got to wind your rods in every five minutes and go around. But luckily we're not catching that many fish. So yeah, he just shouted. He thinks it's about 14 pound. He probably, probably won't weigh it. I don't think he's a bit like me. We're not really bothered about weighing the smaller ones. It's always the bigger ones we want to weigh. So. But yeah, I mean, this is the actual side section of the lake where I'm sort of fishing a nice bay area. And it's a fairly nice lake, to be honest. I mean, there's all spits, little islands, and it's a beautiful place to, to fish. And obviously, the stock of the lake, we've got no idea. We haven't even spoke to the bailiff yet, so we can't really get a good insight. But I'm guessing that there's a few fish on here and a few fish are moving, because we're obviously catching a few. So yeah, at least Craig's had a double. I've had a double and then we've both had a couple of small ones so it's looking good I think the fish are moving now and I'm sure it's to do with the weather conditions but they've been fairly bright maybe the smaller fish are moving around so yeah let's go and have a look at this pike you weighed it? Oh, yeah. it's got a big head but I think Body, so it's, it's not the fish yard this morning, is it? I don't think that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. No, that's a different fish, mate. That's a little it looks a bit bigger than the one I had. Yeah, you can tell by the by the um no, that one the one I had this morning. That's not bad, isn't it? Good news. Yeah. It's got a bit of a mark on it, side, hasn't yeah, you? Yeah. Mine had a bit of a mark as well. On there and all. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish there, mate, yeah. Bang on. The move paid off then. Yeah. Big Tom. Beautiful green, golden. Lovely condition, oh, isn't it? Beautiful. Proper lake like that, isn't it? Stunning colour on them fish, they really are. Absolutely bang on. It's always nice to get that edge joint. I mean, look at the, look at the teeth on that. Proper apex predator. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Bang on. Thank you. Lovely. That's the one. Quite a bit of girth on the fish, isn't there? Yeah. That's why there's a chance of being a bit bigger. Lovely. Nice one. Should be soaking in the margins now, mate. <laughs> yeah, lovely. At least we've got another one under his belt, mate. That's the main thing, isn't it? What's that for? Four or five? Four or five, yeah, I lost one earlier on. She's still there. She'll talk herself down here, I bet you. Right, so get these rods recast we would do a recast anyway and I'm gonna go probably a little bit further out on the actual rods for the next couple of hours just to see if we can pick any fish up it seems that I mean the one Craig was catching was a little bit further out I mean obviously he's got a big bay area to where he's fishing so I'm thinking they might be patrolling the central body of the water so 
we'll get this one cast out and then we'll go from there but yeah. it's nice to see some action on both sides of the lake to be honest that was a nice pipe that was so i think we'll go a little bit further we'll go on the edge of this drop off area just around here so give this a bash And it's always nice to have one angler on one side of the lake, one on the other, and then you can sort of gauge what's happening. I mean, if Craig does really well, then I'd be more than happy to pop round and get some photos from him and we'll get some shots of the video as well. Put that sword in some water. So yeah, that's a little bit further out than normal. Now I might bring it in for the margins towards evening time. And then the actual float rod, I'm gonna have I might actually have that here, three or four rod lengths in this section. Then the right hand rod that's produced most of the bites, I had that around here. I might actually go a bit further out with that and just escape this area. So we're coming up to about half past four. We've got probably three quarters of an hour, maybe an hour before it starts to get dark. We've just had a bit of a hailstorm, to be honest. It did come down quite a bit. So the conditions at the moment, it's fairly overcast. So hopefully it doesn't rain. But I think it's forecast about minus two tonight. So it's going to be a very cold night. And that shouldn't affect the fishing that much, if I'm honest. It's normally prolonged periods of cold weather where that will sort of put the odds out your favour and then you'll end up probably blanking and catching nothing. But at the moment, the lake's looking absolutely beautiful. It's been very quiet on my side. Craig's not had anything yet. I think his was the last fish that we had this afternoon. So all in all, it's been a very quiet afternoon. But I'm hoping that tonight we get a few bait fish come through, maybe a few pike. I've seen quite a few small pike in these reed lines to my left-hand side and really tiny little jack pike. I did see a decent size one yesterday, the tail of one moving through. So that might be a fish that's just roaming around and I found that I was speaking to Craig earlier on I think the fish are moving around with these light levels now and it's waking them up a bit and it's certainly getting the bait fish moving because I've seen quite a few moving along this sort of marginal line so that is why I've got one in the margins at the moment but I've been jotting the baits all around the swim and it's been yeah it's there's no fish there it's as simple as that so or if they are they're not having any of it at all and I've had the lure rod out I've tried every possible tactic you can try but it's been very quiet at the moment so I think the case now is I'm gonna get the kettle on I don't know if I'm going to pop around to see Craig later or not. I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll see how it goes because it's sort of getting near the witching hour now. We're, you know, it's all hands on deck hoping that we're going to get a fish in the bag. And I'm going to keep a close eye on these rods and hopefully one of them will go off and we'll get one. Failing that, I'm just going to probably gamble on for sort of early morning bites, maybe one, two o'clock in the morning. And then other than that, it's just a case of waiting and seeing. But we're going to be here till about eight, nine o'clock in the morning, maybe a little bit earlier, then it's time to shoot. It's been a great 48 hours so far. You know, we've had some fish, no monsters, but with the conditions we've had, I'm pretty much surprised we even got one out of the bag, to be honest, because it has been quite testing. And I've got loads of chickens all in my bivy at the moment, so I'm gonna have to sort them out. There's been about 12 of them all around. I've been feeding them little bits of food and stuff, but they keep going off and coming back, so. Yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get the kettle on, make a brew, and then I've got one more recast before I call it a night and then hopefully we can get a few fish in the bag. Let's see what we have got. I think it's only a small fish by the look of it to be honest. Unless it's swimming towards me, it's a bit bigger. Yeah, only a, only a little small pike. Tiny little thing as well, to be honest. That has got to be probably the smallest pike I think we've caught from this venue. Really small fish. Come on, mate. I think the bait was bigger than the pike, to be fair. Come on, mate. Let's be having you. Lovely. I only just tucked in the scissors as well. Right, little fella. 
Back you go. Nice condition that one is, to be honest. There you go. Lovely. Well, good morning, and yeah, as you can see, we're all packed up, ready to go. It was dead, absolutely nothing. It was about minus three last night, really cold, and I popped round to see Craig. Yeah, and he's had nothing at all. The lake is absolutely dead at the moment. There's a few carp anglers on, but at the moment, yeah, absolutely dead. So, uh, to be honest, I think we were lucky to just get a couple out of the bag, to be fair. Now, regarding what the stock of the lake is, I've got no idea, to be honest. I don't. I don't think there's that many pike in here to be honest, but I think there might be a few. It's just with these weather conditions, it's gonna make life a little bit difficult for catching them. So I think give it probably a couple of weeks when the weather calms down a bit where there's not many frosts and not, we don't get any thunderstorms or heavy rain, I reckon we'll be in good chance of catching some fish. So that is the session wrapped up. We've had a couple of fish, it's been a nice social with Craig. That was the main thing about this, just to see Craig. I haven't seen him for a while. We chit chat on social media, but we never get a chance to fish with each other. So it was nice to, uh, you know, go backwards and forwards and just have a bit of banter. And now it's time to call it a day. So without further ado, I'm gonna get back, get this edited, do some planning. We've got lots of planning to do now because the rivers at the moment are unfishable, so are the drains, so it might be lakes and venues. But if it's gonna be like this, they're gonna be really tough and I'm guessing there's gonna be a few blanks involved, but that's fishing at the end of the day. So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.